Hello and welcome again to the Dosha Room. This is your mad yogi Eileen. And we are going to start our series five with a Vata balancing flow. This flow has a few longish holds. It will never be like the yin three to five minute hold. It will be more of a count of three to five. So one, two, three, four, Five. That would be the speed of, um, of our holds. And not all of the poses will have holds. You will, however, need to have a strap. I like looping, if you can see it here, and I'll come closer. I like looping the strap in the buckle, if you have this type of strap. And just make three even lengths of the strap, because we're going to use them mainly for the arms, so holding it this way, so we don't have bits dangling as in this, it can be very confusing during the flow. So make them nice and even. You are also going to, well, you have the option of using a block for some of our seated poses for a more in-depth um, study of how to use the blocks and the strap and the options for the poses that we're going to be using for this flow. Please refer to our workshop room and it will be there for you. So starting with us, at the top of our mats, tilt your hips, wave the spine, belly in and up, chest up, head up. And once again, start doing that hugging and lifting of the whole 3D of the body. So it's not never just the belly being sucked in, you're lengthening the whole spine. Roll the shoulders and start your ujjayi breath, deep nasal breathing. And I'm going to introduce a shaped breathing later, and we'll get to that. Bring the backs of the hands in, wave your spine up as you wave your arms up. Nice and long. Tilt your hips and push your hips forward for a shallow back bend. Don't go too crazy in your back bends just yet. We're just warming up the body. Breathing here. Then contract your abdominals to lift you out of your back bend. Hands in. Elbows in, lead with the crown of your head, soften your knees as you go to your forward fold. Separate the hands beside the feet. And just very quickly, I'll show you, feet are just one hip width distance apart and your hands are just on the outside. So those are our measurements. Letting the head go. Curl up your right leg, point the knee back and up, Extend just a very brief moment here in this standing leg split. Bring that foot down on the flats of your toes. So we're in a lunge position. Hands on your strap, not very narrow. If your mats are a good width, not very wide either. Just hold on maybe to the edges of your strap or align it to the edges of the mat. Bring the backs of the hands together and wave yourself up. Notice my front knee is a little bit pared back from my ankle, or you can make it in line with your ankle, just not in front of the ankle this way. Push yourself to the back, lift your arms up, and retract your scapula, bringing the shoulder blades together at the back. Allow your arms to drift back naturally. Deep, full breath for three, two, one. Bend the elbows. Do this incrementally, don't rush. You're, ke you're keeping your hands on your strap and you're pulling them apart. So there's deep activation in your upper body muscles, your shoulders, your arms. Now let's do some pumps here. Inhale, lift up, exhale, bend. Inhale, lift, exhale, maybe a little bit deeper. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale even deeper, but never pass parallel. Last two, inhale, lift up. You're still pulling on the strap. Exhale, bending, that's four. Inhale up, lengthen up the body. Exhale, bending the elbows, that's five. Lift your arms up, relax the arms. Bring your strap and your hands down, hands flat on the mat. Stepping back, plank. From here, let's pair it back just for this first flow. Knees down, untuck the toes, knee plank. So notice my body is in an inclined plane and not a cat pose, yeah? So bring your body weight forward, exhale. 
chaturanga. Don't go past your elbows. A small click is enough. And we're here for three, two, one. Then exhale all the way down. Flat plank. Activate the back line of the body, squeezing them in. Feel that natural lift of the chest in your shallow cobra. Then add the strength of your arms to lift you up. Just for co cobra for now. Exhale, abdominal massage down. Two more, inhale, waving up. Feel the undulation of your spine. Exhale. So it's not just the arms pushing us up. You're using your back muscles to lift you up. Stay in your cobra, high cobra, or pair it back, or if you want to, lift yourself up to your upward facing dog. So my thighs, my knees, my shins are floating off the mat. It's only the hands and the tops of the feet that are down and pushing in. Exhale, abdominal massage down. Flat plank, tuck your toes under to lift up. These are your options. Inhale, lifting up. Back to your knee plank, knees up, full plank. Bend your knees and push back. Puppy pose, stay here if puppy pose is enough for you, or lengthen your legs in downward facing dog. Now I want to introduce a deeper activation of the arms and a deeper awareness of your downward facing dog in the spinal wave. Belly up, chest up, head up in that downward wave, press your hands strongly down into the mat and forward. It will help lengthen the whole back line of your body. From your calves, up your hamstrings, down your back, and down to your hands. Two more, inhale, belly up, chest up, head up, exhale, downward wave, pressing strongly with your hands, down and forward. One more, belly up, chest up, head up, and exhale down. Right leg curls up, plantar flex the ankle, but flick the toes. Point the knee back and up, gain a height with your knee, and lengthen your psoas and quads, and then extend the leg. Three-legged dog, wave forward, three-legged plank, here for just a moment, bend that knee, step it through. Back heel is lifted up in your lunge, hands on your strap, Backs of the hands together, thread yourself up. Nice long breath, open your strap, squeeze your scapula, staying for three, two, one. Brief pause, exhale, bend the elbows for three, two, one. Inhale, lift up, exhale, bend. Circular breathing here, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows. That's two, don't rush, inhale, lift up. Feel as if you're really lengthening the body up as well without losing the bend of your front knee. Exhale, down. That's three, inhale, lengthening up. Exhale, squeezing your scapula, bringing your arms to the back. Last one, inhale, lengthening. It's a good chest opener, exhale. To counteract that desk body we all suffer from. Inhale, lengthening up your arms. Soften, bring them down. Soften the body and step up. Forward fold, let your head go. Let's make this, the flow a little bit smoother. Bend your knees, backs of the hands in, thread up. Nice and long. Wave the spine and the arms. Push your hips forward, shallow or deeper. Contract your abdominals. Lift up, hands in, elbows in. Bend the knees as you bow down. Forward fold. Let your head go. Left leg this time. Curl it up. Just a moment in your standing split. Bring your left foot down on the flats of your toes, hands on your strap, 
soften your arms as you bring the backs of the hands in and you're waving the body up. Breathing. For three, two, one. Hopefully you're exhaling here for three, two, one. Bending the elbows. Five pumps, inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend. Pulling on the strap, inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend, squeezing the scapula, the rhomboids in the upper traps. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, lengthening up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Good. Inhale, lengthen up. Soften the arms. Melt down. Release your strap. Hands flat on the mat. Step back, plank. Now remember, you're always welcome to come down on your knees or from plank, chaturanga, a shallow one. For three, two, one. And exhale all the way down. By the way, align your hands with your lower ribs. If you land there naturally, that's good. If not, if your hands are forward, just bring them, slide them down. Inhale, waving up. Low cobra, high cobra, or upward facing dog, if you want this. Notice my heels, don't let your legs flop out to the side, point them up. Deep, full breath. Exhale, abdominal massage all the way down. Don't rush your transition. Tuck your toes under, knee plank or lift up, straight away into your full plank, bend your knees, puppy pose, downward facing dog. Just one spinal wave here, belly up, chest up, head up, downward wave, activate your arms to lengthen out the whole back line of the body. You might really feel it in your hamstrings and your legs. Left leg curls up, plantar flex the ankle, flick the toes, point the knee back and up, gain height in your knee, lengthen the leg. Three-legged dog, wave forward, three-legged plank, bend that knee, step it through, lunge. Hands on your strap, backs of the hands in, thread up. It's nice, it's always nice to inhale when the body is nice and open. Exhale for three, two, one. Five pumps, inhale. Exhale. If you want to count, inhale for three, two, one. Pause, exhale down for three, two, one. Inhale up, three, two, one, down for three, two, one. Two more sets. Up, move with your breath, exhale down. Last one, inhaling up. This is a good way to lengthen our breath and exhale down to quiet the mind, even amidst this effort. Inhale, lengthening up, relax the arms, melt down, and step up. Forward fold. Backs of the hands together, thread yourself up. Upward facing hands, waving the spine and the arms. Push your hips forward, shallow or deep back bend. Contract the front, lift up. Push your hips forward, shallow or deep back bend. Contract the front, lift up, hands in, elbows in. Lead with the crown of your head, forward fold, bending your knees. Separate your hands beside the feet, let the head go. Forward fold, looking through the gap between your legs and as high up that gap as you can. Right leg curls up, point the knee back and up, extend. Standing split, back toes down on the mat, hands on your strap, lunge. 
backs of the hands in, thread yourself up. Open your arms, squeezing the strap, pulling them apart, squeezing your rhomboids and your trapezius, retract the scapula, allowing the arms to drift. Exhale, down, bending the elbows. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Good, inhaling up, exhale. Two more, inhaling, lengthening the arms, pulling on the strap, exhale, bending. Inhale, lengthening up, strong arms. You'll feel it in your upper pectoral muscles. Bend the elbows. Inhale, lengthen, soften, release. Down on the mat, hands flat, stepping back. Plank. Knee plank or full plank. Bend the elbows, just a small click or halfway down. Three, two, one. Exhale. Abdominal massage all the way down. Inhale, waving up through low cobra, high cobra, or upward facing dog. Your choice. Exhale, abdominal massage down. Tuck the toes under, knee plank or full plank. If you went through knee plank, don't rush. Bend your knees and push back. Through puppy pose and downward facing dog. Spinal wave, downward wave, pushing the hands down the arms forward. Right leg curls up, knee goes back and up, three-legged dog. Wave forward, three-legged plank, bend that knee, step it through. Hands on your strap, backs of the hands in, Thread up. Exhale, open up. Bend your elbows. Three, two, one. Inhaling up. Three, two, one. Four more. Exhale, bend. Three, two, one. Lengthen. Three, two, one. Exhale, bend. Good, never beyond parallel. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhaling, bend. Nice, strong body. Inhale up. Last one, exhale, bending. Inhale, lengthening up. Soften your upper body, melting down and stepping up. Forward fold. Soften your knees. Backs of the hands together, thread yourself up. Shallow or deep back bend. Contract the front to lift. Hands in, elbows in, forward fold. Let your hands go, let your head go. Left leg curls up. Point the knee back and up and extend. Step it back and down. Hands on your strap, waving up. Lengthening, opening the strap, opening the arms, squeezing back and exhale. Three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Three more, bending the elbows, halfway, lengthening up, bending, squeezing the upper back, inhale, lengthening, last one, exhale, bending, just halfway, pulling on the straps, inhale, lengthening up, soften, release. Hands flat. Step back, plank. With or without your knees, exhale, halfway down. Three, two, one, flat plank. Untuck your toes, waving up. Shallow cobra, 
high cobra or upward facing dog. Breathing. One more full breath in your pose. Then exhale, abdominal massage down to flat plank. Tuck your toes under. Inhale, lift up through your knee plank or full plank. If you went through knee plank, don't rush that small transition. Then bend your knees, puppy pose, downward facing dog. Spinal wave, belly up, chest up, head up. Exhale down, remembering to activate your arms. One more spinal wave, belly up, chest up, head up, and exhale down. Left leg curls up into the body. Point the knee back and up, extend. Three-legged dog to three-legged plank. Bend that knee to lunge. Hands on your strap, backs of the hands in, back into that strong shoulder opening lunge set. Squeezing the upper back, allowing the arms to drift. And exhale, bend, halfway, inhale up. That's one. Exhale, bending, inhale, lengthen. Good, that's two, exhale. Again, you should feel it in your upper pectoral muscles, lifting up, shoulders, arms, lifting up. I think that's four. Last one, bending halfway, pulling on your strap. Inhale, lengthening up, lengthen the body, soften your arms, and melt down. Stepping up to your forward fold. And exhaling here. Soften your knees, backs of the hands in, thread yourself up. Shallow or deep back bend. Contract the front, lift up. From here, walk your feet together, squeeze them in, and bend the knees, coming into your chair pose. Just start with a high chair for now. Hands in, bring, bring them down in line with your chest, in line with your heart space. And we're going to turn to the right side first from the pubis, navel, sternum, then nose. Deep full breath. That order of twist from the base of the body gives you a more organic twist, a nice deeper twist, and we're not just wrenching on the shoulders into the rotation. Stay in a high revolved chair or elbow on the outside of your knee, coming into a low revolved chair. Breathing here. Left leg, slide it back. Heel down. This time, warrior legs. It gives you more stability. So let's stay in warrior legs. Pressing the hands strongly in. And if you want to, it can help you torque a little bit deeper in your twist or not. Just come into that neutral um, rotation of your spine in this pose and release. Back knee down on the mat, untuck your toes and drift yourself to the back this way. Sit down on the mat and I will just quickly turn to you obliquely to show you the position of the leg. So the, my, the left leg is switched back. The other side, so it's this position. And I'm coming back properly on my mat. My sit bones are down on the mat, but if you want more support, if your knee won't take this pose, by all means, use a block on the left side of the, of the sit bones left side of the hips rather, and you're in this pose, waving the spine nice and long. Hopefully you can also reach for your strap. Lengthening up here, then bring the middle of your strap on the balls of your feet, on the flats of your toes, and lengthen up here. Once again, there's a strong pushing and pulling sensation between your foot, 
pushing forward and your hands anchoring on the strap. Back position. Don't let your back round this way. Yeah, wave yourself up and use all of that chest opening and upper back strengthening that we just finished to lengthen the spine up, lengthen the collarbones out to the sides. And I'll just show you lengthening the collarbones out to the sides, bringing the, sh the heads of the humerus to the back. Deep, full breath and release. Keep that strap close to you. Release your block if you use the block. Bring your body weight forward, crawling back forward and stepping back into your forward fold. Deep, full breath. Soften your knees, backs of the hands together. Thread yourself up. Nice and long. Shallow or deep back bend. Contract the front, lifting up. Hands in, elbows in, forward fold. Leading with the crown of the head, bending the knees. Separate your hands, coming into our full forward fold. Walk the feet together. Squeeze the knees in, squeeze the legs in. Backs of the hands together and lift up to your chair. Deep, full breath. High chair, stay in a high chair. Or if you want a low chair, you're welcome to do that. As long as your lower back doesn't hyperextend like what I'm trying to show you here. If it does, even in your chair pose, tilt the hips, wave the spine, and allow the curves of your back to come into their natural form. Hands in, bring the hands in line with the chest, and twist to the left side, pubis, navel, sternum, nose. Stay in a high revolve chair or come down into your low revolve chair. Breathing here. Right leg slides to the back, foot down, warrior stance. Just allow the spine to come in its natural twist or deepen it a little bit more. Looking up towards the ceiling, if your cervical spine is happy with that, if not, just leave it at neutral. Release back to center, back to neutral, back knee down, untuck the toes and draw yourself to the back. Once again, both sit bones down on the mat. So if you can see, I'm not sitting on my heel. Try to avoid that with or without a block. With a block, affords you a little bit more height and a little bit more support for that knee, that hip, and those toes. Grab your strap, put it around the balls of your foot, then hold on tight, and then wave your spine up, belly up, chest up, head up. And once again, have a nice, long, straight back. Come out of your curve if you're hunched, that's why we do the spinal wave. Deep, long breath. When effort starts to kick in, or with long holds such as this, the body tends to start opening the lips and breathing through the mouth. So if you find yourself doing that, press your lips together and breathe through the nose. Trying to avoid mouth breathing in our practice because mouth breathing starts activating the sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight response. And it just spikes adrenaline and all of those chemicals in the body associated with stress. And that's what we want to avoid. Release your strap. Soften the body, bring your body weight forward, crawl forward. If you are sitting on your block, use this time to bring it away. Back toes tuck under and lift yourself up. Back into forward fold. Soften your knees, walk your feet together, backs of the hands in. Thread yourself all the way up. Starting with the right side once again, push your hips forward shallow or deep back bend. Contract the front, lift up, 
Keep your arms straight, walk your legs together and bend the knees, squeezing your legs in once again. Create a strong, solid foundation with that. <clears throat> create a strong, solid foundation with your legs pressing in and squeezing in. High chair or low chair, up to you. Hands in, thread it down, chest height, twist to the right. Stay in a high revolved chair or come down to your low revolved chair. Left leg steps to the back, heel down. Just in a more neutral rotation of the spine or come into a deeper rotation, but only if your spine is okay with that. Looking up, if your neck is okay, if not, just neutral. Deep, full breath. Release, hands down to support you, back knee down, untuck the toes, draw yourself to the back. Tiryanga Ekapada Pashimottanasana. Waving up, with or without your strap. If you want to try without a strap, Claw hands down on the mat and lengthen. If you want to, walk your hands closer to your foot and with a strap, you're softening, walking your hands along the strap and lengthening the back once again. Soften, walking, lengthen. Last one, soften, walking forward if you can hold on to your foot. You're welcome to do that if you can bind left hand on the wrist of the right and bring it around your foot and still waving up here. So there's a difference between this hunched position of the body and still lengthening up. Look forward. It helps bring your spine into that nice long lifted position. Deep full breath. You can squeeze your free hand in a fist, creating a little bit more heat, which is what we want to do for this flow. And release. Body weight for, forward, strong claw hands or fists, lift yourself up. Right foot steps down, lift yourself, your body up. Left leg goes to the right side. So the, your left leg is now crossing behind the right. The blades of your feet are together. And exhale down here in a cross-legged forward fold. And I'll just quickly turn to the front just to show you the position of the legs. And you're folding, coming down to your forward fold. Breathe here. Release, walk your feet together, bend your knees, backs of the hands in, thread up to your chair for the left side. Deep full breath. High chair or low chair, hands in, down to your sternum. Twist to the left side. Stay in a high revolved chair or come down to a low revolved chair. And I'll just pair it back to a high revolved chair just so to encourage you to choose this if this is what you want. Right leg steps back in a revolved side angle. Deep full breath. Release back to center, back to neutral. Hands down, back knee down, untuck the toes, and walk yourself to the back. With or without your block, sit bones down on the mat. With or without your strap, up to you. You can try doing it without a strap. Wave the body up, hug and lift. Always hug and lift in our active poses. Active meaning we may, might not be moving, but the, the body, the mus muscles are still actively engaging. That's what we mean. 
as opposed to relaxed pose, but still don't round your back. Relax, walk your hands forward or on the strap, activate this, the pose. Relax, drawing yourself a little bit closer to your leg, waving the spine, activate the pose, squeezing your muscles, pushing through the length of your arms and fingers to lift the sternum up. Last depth, stay or relax, walking deeper, binding if you want, right hand, left wrist, coming on the balls of your foot or on the arch of your foot, waving the spine nice and long. Free hand, left hand in a tight fist. And once again, I just want to show you there's a difference between this. I'm still retracting my scapula, bringing the heads of my shoulders to the back, even in this bound position, as opposed to just melting down and rounding the back. We'll do that later, I promise. But for now, let's stick with the active versions of the pose. And exhale. Relax the body, release your bind, and, and release your strap if you use the strap. Body weight forward. Crawl forward, back toes tuck under and lift yourself up first. Right leg behind the left. And exhale, cross-legged, forward fold. But listen to your back knee here. If it's stretching overly much, and your, um, your patella is sinking down into a locked position, which is uncomfortable, release it straight away into our forward fold, our proper forward fold. And let the head go. Backs of the hands together. Thread yourself up. And let's make this a little smoother. Lengthen up. Shallow or deep back bend. Contract the abdominals to lift. Walk the legs in. High chair or low chair. Breathing for three, two, one. Hands in. Draw it down to your sternum. Set yourself on an exhalation, twist to the right. Three, two, one. High revolve chair or low revolve chair. Left leg, slide it to the back. Revolved side angle. Staying for three, two, one, release back to neutral, hands down, back knee down, untuck the toes, draw yourself to the back. Wave the spine nice and long. Three adjustments, three dips, and exhale. Soften to angle the body. Inhale, waving up, activate. Exhale, soften to draw yourself lower. Inhale, waving up to activate the body. Stay at your depth or come, last one. Soften, walking forward, binding if you want to bind, and inhale, activate the pose. Soften the gaze for three, two, and one. Release, body weight forward, right foot down, back leg lengthens, and steps behind the right, crossing the left, behind the right, and coming into your cross-legged forward fold. A little bit longer in your forward fold, then release. Your left leg back to neutral. Walk your feet together. Bend the knees, backs of the hands in. High or low full chair. And squeeze your rhomboids and your upper traps, upper trapezius here. Let's utilize that strength and shoulder opening that we built up on. Hands in. Draw it down to your sternum. 
twist to the left side, pubis, navel, sternum, nose. Staying high revolved chair or low revolved chair. For three, two, one. Right leg slides back and staying for three, two, one. Release the pose, hands down, back knee down, untuck your toes, draw yourself back. If you've noticed, even the transitions are slow. Don't rush from pose to pose. Waving up, and I'll just show you once again with the strap. Lengthen the body here. Relax, walk your hands closer to your foot along the strap, waving up. Activate the pose. Relax, stay or adjust. Activate the pose, waving. Deep, full breath. Relax, release your strap, crawl forward. Lift your body up, L right leg behind the left, cross-legged forward fold. Release back into your full forward fold and let your head go. Soften your knees, backs of the hands together. Thread yourself all the way up. Deep, long breath. Shallow or deep back bend. Contract the abdominals to lift. Walk the legs in. High chair or low chair. Breathing for three, two, one. Hands in. Draw it down to your sternum. Set yourself. On an exhalation, twist to the right. Three, two, one. High revolved chair or low revolved chair. Left leg, slide it to the back. Revolved side angle. Staying for three, two, one. Release back to neutral. Hands down, back knee down, untuck the toes, draw yourself to the back. Wave the spine nice and long. Three adjustments, three dips, and exhale. Soften to angle the body. Inhale, waving up. Activate, exhale, soften to draw yourself lower. Inhale, waving up to activate the body. Stay at your depth or come. Last one. Soften, walking forward, binding if you want to bind, and inhale, activate the pose. Soften the gaze for three, two, and one. Release. Body weight forward, right foot down, back leg lengthens, and steps behind the right, crossing the left behind the right, and coming into your cross-legged forward fold. A little bit longer in your forward fold, then release your left leg back to neutral, Walk your feet together, bend the knees, backs of the hands in, high or low full chair, and squeeze your rhomboids and your upper traps, upper trapezius here. Let's utilize that strength and shoulder opening that we built up on. Hands in, draw it down to your sternum, twist to the left side, pubis, navel, 
sternum, nose. Staying high revolved chair or low revolved chair. For three, two, one. Right leg slides back and staying for three, two, one. Release the pose, hands down, back knee down, untuck your toes, draw yourself back. If you've noticed, even the transitions are slow. Don't rush from pose to pose. Waving up, and I'll just show you once again with the strap. Relax, walk your hands closer to your foot along the strap, waving up. Activate the pose. Relax, stay or adjust. Activate the pose, waving. Deep, full breath. Relax, release your strap, crawl forward. Lift your body up, right leg behind the left, cross-legged forward fold. Release back into your full forward fold and let your head go. Soften your knees, backs of the hands together, Thread yourself all the way up. Deep, long breath. Exhale, back bend. Push the hips forward. Contract the front. Lift. Close your eyes here as you draw your hands down. Right hand on your heart space. Left hand on your belly. And just reset the breath. Reset the heart rate and the breath rate. You might feel with every inhalation, your heart rate goes a little bit faster. You can even pause this video if you need more time, just to reset your heart rate and your breath rate. From Tadasana or mountain pose, just relax the body, get your strap and open it up so that your looped end is nice and loose and hold on to it with one hand, the right hand from here, from here. Backs of the hands together, thread them up as you bring your right leg up and come into your three limb lift. Don't use your strap yet. We're just lengthening the body up, strengthening the quads of the right leg. Then bend your elbows, bend your knee, step on your loop, step on your strap, both hands on the strap and bring that leg nice and high. Then lengthen your leg out. So if you can see my ankle is dorsi flex this time, 90 degrees in the ankle and lengthen up, lengthen the body. Deep, full breath. Just be aware of that long, loose end of your strap. Or you can also use any non-stretchy scarf or maybe an old tie. You can use those as well, as long as it's non-stretchy and the material won't chafe you. That's quite important. Don't hurt yourself. From here, left hand holds on to the right side of your strap. So both sides of the strap are in the left hand. Right hand, release it on your hip. Right hand, release it on your hip and twist to the right side. So it's a closed belly twist because we're crossing the abdominal cavity with a part of the body. If your balance is okay, you can release that right arm to the back. And if you're really feeling confident, you can look at that hand. Deep, full breath. Back to center, right hand this time, holds on to both sides of your strap, left hand on your hip, and you're twisting. Open belly twist to the left side. Left hand remains on your hip or release it to the back and open up the body. Gaze is neutrally forward or once again, if you're feeling confident, 
Look at your back hand. Coming back to center, relax the body, reset yourself. Then bring that right leg up once again, bring it as high, the knee as high as you can into the body, then kick your leg forward, lifting that leg as high as your body will allow. Deep, full breath. Allow for these micro adjustments of the standing leg to happen. It actually helps you stay in your balance. Release. Release your strap just down on the mat for now. Right leg still and your arms to the back. And we'll make this smoother in a bit. We're just going through your options here. Warrior three, high head, low foot, parallel or low head and high foot and squeeze your arms to the back. Feel your triceps activating. Lift yourself up. I know it's strong for the standing leg. Bend your right knee, hold on to it with your right hand and I'll just turn. So you'll see where I'm holding on to my foot. I'm holding on to the arch side of the foot. Dancer's pose. Wave your spine up nice and high. Loose arm up and you can stay here in this low version of the pose. If this is enough for you, that's fine. Or you can also lift your knee up. Try not to sink your chest down too much. So this is the version of dancer's pose where the head is still lifted up and you're lifting your leg up. Not with the body in a parallel position to the floor. Deep, full breath. Release, left leg in front, right leg behind once again in our cross-legged position and come into your forward fold. And I'm, I'm pointing towards the camera this time so you'll see how the legs are going to move in this short flow with your fingertips strong on the mat, claw hands, inhale, you're going to lift your heels up. Exhale, bend your knees out to the sides. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, heels down. That's one. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, bend the knees out to the sides. You can come deep if you want to or you can stay high. A small bend of the knees is fine as well. Lengthen the legs, heels down. That's two. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, bend the knees, high or low. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, down. Adjust your hands. You can shift to fists if you want to, and let's try that for one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Fists afford more stability for your hand joints or flat. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. So you have choices for your hands here. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, heels down. And I'll just orient myself back to the top of my mat. Back leg, bring it to the back. Knee down, untuck your toes, wave yourself up. If you've come into a more box shape position like what I did, it's like a, a half kneeling pose, slide that right leg out. You can support your upper body weight with your fist down on the mat and walk your back leg to the back, lengthening it out, coming from a kneeling pose or a half kneeling pose into a low lunge and wave yourself up. Grab your strap, you're going to use that. Lengthen up here. We're coming into cow face arms, so front leg, back arm. So in this position, right arm lifts up, left arm down. Bring your arms as far back as you can. Once again, utilizing that arm opening that we started the flow with, then bend the elbows. Use your strap and hold on to the strap if you need that extra length. Deep, full breath. With the head, don't allow your top arm to push your head down into this position, hard to breathe. So bring that top elbow up and back and lift the head up. 
Deep, full breath. Release. Back of the left hand on the inside of your left knee. Right arm to the back and you're coming into a twist. Stay if this is enough or support your front body with your hand on your knee. Back knee, right knee bends and hold on to that foot. Keep adjusting that front leg wherever it needs to be to support your balance. And bring that back foot close to the body this time. Deep, full breath. From here, don't let this back foot slap down on the mat. Be very mindful and slow in letting it back down on the floor. Crawl down on the mat. Back toes, tuck under, step back, plank. Reset your alignments here in plank. Exhale, halfway down. Stay for three, two, one. Down to flat plank. Untuck the toes. Wave up halfway, low cobra, high cobra, or upward facing dog. Transition back down. Flat plank, tuck your toes under, lifting up. You have the option to come to knee plank or straight to full plank. Bend the knees through puppy pose and downward facing dog. Spinal wave, belly up, chest up, head up. And remember that downward wave, add that activation of the upper arms. Deep, full breath, activation of the hands, pressing down and forward. Heels up, knees and elbows bend, step or jump. Top of your mat, forward fold. Grab your strap here with the left hand, wave up, soften your knees, backs of the hands together, thread yourself up. Shallow or deep back bend, Upright, keep your arms lifted up, roll your left leg up as high as it will go, or you can also help it up, why not? Help your leg up and then extend three limb lift. For three, two, one. Bend your lifted knee, get your strap and step on it. Walk your hands close to your foot, bending the knee, and then lengthen it forward. Lengthen the spine up. There's a little bit of a leaning back sensation here with the body, but you're pushing forward with your foot on the strap and you're holding tight. From here, right hand grabs your left, stra left strap, left hand on your hip, or release it to the back and twist. Deep, full breath. Release back to center, soften your knee if you need to. Left hand on your strap, right hand on your hip. Lengthen your leg forward and twist, open belly twist. Hand on your hip or release it to the back. Gaze to neutral or look at your back hand, up to you. Deep, full breath. Release the pose, back to center, bend your knee. Hold on to the strap as close to your foot as you can. Lift yourself nice and long. And then extend your leg, lifting it high without hyperextending that front knee. Soften, release your strap. Bring your lifted limbs to the back. Warrior three, high head, low foot, parallel to the floor, or low head and high foot, as long as you're squeezing that gluteal muscle. Lift yourself up, bend your back knee, left hand on the arch side of your foot, R wave your right arm up as you lengthen the spine up, and once again, Stay here if this is enough. With your knee pointing down, the body's in an upright position and you're reaching your right hand up. Or squeeze your gluteal muscle 
squeeze the back muscles and lift that knee up until maybe the femur is parallel to the floor, but lift your sternum and your head up. Keep them lifted. Deep, full breath. Soften your gaze. Release the pose. Melt down, left leg behind the right. Hands down on the mat. Let your head go. Cross-legged forward fold. And once again, I'll just turn quickly towards the camera. Claw hands, fists, or flat hands. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, adjust your feet so that you can bring your knees out to the sides and bending them. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, heels up. Exhale, knees bend. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, down. Keep adjusting as you need to. Inhale, lift, exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, down. Two more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhaling, heels up. Exhale, knees bend. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, down on the mat. And I'll reset myself back to the top of my mat. Back leg, left leg. Bring it to the back, nice and long. Knee down, untuck your toes. Grab your strap for your cow face arms and wave yourself up. Strap. On the left hand, right hand just on your knee for the moment and lengthen up, adjust your back leg. Low lunge, not a half kneeling pose. Front knee, bottom arm, so right arm down, left arm up. Adjust the twist of your arm so your strap is behind. Bring them as far back as they'll go. Bend the elbows. Trust that your hands will find the strap and walk your hands along the strap to bring them together. Lift the chin up. You're not bowing down. Release your strap, release your pose. Bring the back of your right hand on the inside of your right knee, left arm to the back, and you're twisting, lengthening your arms in the direction they're pointing towards. Your neck can be neutrally forward, or look at your backhand if you want to. And stay in this pose if this is enough, or right hand goes back on top of your knee, back knee, left knee bends, and hold on to that foot. You're holding on to the arch side of your foot, as in our dancer's pose earlier. Lengthening the spine here, gaining your balance. Stay if this is enough, or adjust your Back arm, your left arm, point the elbow up and bring that foot closer to your body. Deep, full breath. One more full breath, inhaling. On the exhalation, soften the body. Don't let that foot slap down on the mat. So give yourself time to adjust and let that foot float down. Hands back down on the floor, in your plank, stepping back. Regaining your alignments in plank. Then chaturanga hold, halfway down. You can bring your knees down. Three, two, one, flat plank. Untuck your toes, waving up cobra or upward facing dog. Back through plank. Puppy pose, downward facing dog. Spinal wave, belly up, chest up, head up, and exhale down. Two more, belly up, chest up, head up. Remember your arm activation in the downward wave. One more, and exhale down. Heels up, 
knees and elbows bend without looking forward, step or jump, top of your mat, forward fold. Backs of the hands together, thread yourself up. Nice and long, shallow or deep back bend, upright. From here, relax your arms as I just quickly give you instructions. Remember that you can use your strap if you want to, but this next round, we'll do it without the strap. From here, bend your right knee, lift yourself up into your three limb lift. You can hold on to that leg and support it. Deep, full breath. You can also keep that knee bent if you want to, but keep it high. From here, bring your arms down, leg extended or bent, left hand on your knee or on your leg, and bring yourself into your closed belly twist. So you still have options here if you don't have a strap, in the full pose or like our Balinese dancer, deep full breath. Coming back to center, full pose, hand on your foot, and open up to your open belly twist, or Balinese dancer, open belly twist, with that knee bend. Coming back to center, lift that knee as high as you can, hold on to your foot, stay here, or lengthen out. Release the pose, bring your lifted limbs to the back, and choose your angle for warrior three. Pair it back, lift yourself up if you went deep, right hand on the arch side of your foot, lengthen your left arm up, lengthen the body up. Stay here with a lifted knee, pointing down towards the floor, or lift yourself up into your dancer's pose. Release. Right leg behind the left, hands down on the mat, let your head go. And just turning to you for this, hands in a claw, fist, or flat, inhale, heels up, exhale, knees bend, inhale, lengthen, exhale, down. That's one, inhale, up, exhale, knees bend, inhale, lengthen, exhale, down. Inhale, lengthen up, exhale, knees bend, inhale, lengthen the legs, Exhale down. We're stopping at three for this round. And I'll just turn back. Right leg slides to the back. Low lunge. Wave yourself up. Hands on your knee. And just reset the breath here. Grab your strap. Or if you can do cow face arms without a strap, you're welcome to that as well. Left arm down, right arm up. Bring them as far back as they'll reach. Bend the elbows and clasp. Top elbow, top arm drifts to the back to allow your head to lift up. Chin parallel to the floor and you're pressing the back of the head into your arm. Deep, full breath. Keep the neck nice and open. Release the pose. Twist to the right side. Open your arms. Stay or bend the back knee. Hold on to the arch of your foot and stay here. Left hand can rest on your knee for more stability. Or bring your foot closer to the body pointing your elbow to the back. And stay, if this is enough, 
And I just want to give you a little bit more. If you want to slide your elbow on your toes and hold on to your leg. Stay here if this is enough. Or bring your hand up, still the elbow is still hooked on your toes and bring your other hand to reach in this pose. Release, once again, be mindful and patient with that back leg. Hands down, crawl back, plank. Chaturanga hold, bending halfway down. Three, two, one, flat plank. Cobra or upward facing dog, back through plank, puppy pose, downward facing dog, spinal wave. Step or jump, top of your mat. Forward fold, backs of the hands together, thread yourself up. Nice and long. Shallow or deep back bend. Contract to lift. Keep your arms up or rest them down and help your left knee up. And coming back to your three limbed lift. Arms down, right hand on your bent knee or on your foot, bent knee or extended standing balancing pose. Release a pose, bent knee or extended open belly balancing pose. Deep, full breath. Relax back to center. Bent knee. <clears throat> or hands on your foot and lengthen. Release a pose. Bring your lifted limbs to the back. Choose the angle of your warrior three. If you've come into a deep version with your head low and your foot lifted high, pair yourself back to an upright position. Bend your left knee, left hand on the arch of your foot, right arm. Waves up to cue the body to lengthen up and stay here or come to your dancer's pose. Release, left leg behind the right, cross-legged forward fold. Inhale. Heels up, exhale, knees bend. Adjust your toes, adjust your feet as they need to. Inhale, lengthen, exhale down. Adjust your hands, choose your hand position. Heels up, knees bend out to the side, shallow or deep. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, heels down. Last one, enjoy the flow, heels up. Exhale, shallow or deep. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, heels down. Let your head go. Left leg, release it to the back. Knee down, untuck your toes. Wave yourself up into a low lunge. Grab your strap, 
on the left hand, front knee, bottom arm, right arm down, left arm up, as far back as he'll go, bend the elbows and hold. Cow face arms, open up the neck. Don't shorten the breath by crowding the neck. Release your arms. Back of the right hand on the inside. Left arm to the back. Twisting, low lunge twist. Stay or grab a hold of your foot and stay with your arms still extended or bend your elbow, pointing it to the back, bringing the foot close to the body. And once again, the deeper option, you can always stay here or pair it back or slide your elbow in front of your toes. Once it's secure there, hand on your shin and stay here if this is enough. Or bring your hand, left hand to point up, right hand holds on to it, clasping, and you're in this. It's very strong though. So just be mindful if you want to try this pose. Deep, full breath. Release. Be patient with your back leg. By now, you'll want to just come out of the pose, but be patient. Don't let that leg slap and bring it down mindfully. Hands down on the floor, back to plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga hold for three, two, one. Flat plank. Untuck your toes. Wave up, cobra. Or upward facing dog. Back through plank. Puppy pose. Downward facing dog. Spinal wave, belly up. Chest up. Head up and exhale. A few more spinal waves. In your own time, your own pace. Remembering spinal wave has a very nice neutralizing effect for the spine, for the big joints of the body. Just feel the undulation of your spine. Heels up, knees all the way down. Untuck your toes and press back. Let's all rest in extended child's pose. And let's make this a restorative one. Elbows close to the knee. Stack your fists and rest your head on the cup of the top fist. Release your arms back into extended child's pose. Tuck your toes under and lift up to downward facing dog. Let's reset the body here. Why not belly up, chest up, head up, and back to downward facing dog. Right leg curls up into the body. Plantar flex the ankle this time and flick the toes. Point the knee back and up, nice and high. Lengthen out the psoas and extend three-legged dog. Wave forward, three-legged plank. We're only here for just a moment. Draw that right knee forward and angle it for your pigeon and then land. Land that pigeon down on the mat. Bring your fingertips a little closer to the body, heels of the hands up and wave the spine nice and long in your proud pigeon. On your next exhalation, bend your elbows, melting down, hands flat, stack them on top of each other and rest your hairline on the backs of your hands. Keep your extended leg, your left leg walking out to the back, lengthening it out lengthening the body. If you want to, and I'll angle myself just a little bit here. If you want to, with every exhalation, walk your right foot a little bit closer 
to a horizontal line in line with the top horizon of your mat. But this is really strong for the hips, for the knee. Um, a lot of hips don't like this position of the front shin down on the mat. So if this is not available to you or you think your, your joints won't take it, keep it closer to the body. So keep it bent a little bit more if this is what's more comfortable and what's safe for your hip. So I'll just reset myself here in our humble pigeon. Breathe here. With your next inhalation, wave yourself up. From here, strong arms, press them down on the mat, back toes tuck under, lift yourself up until you can step your front foot down on the mat, your right foot down on the mat, back toes down on the mat once again, and bring yourself back into this old friend of ours. And now, once again, angle myself. Left leg is switched back, right leg is nice and straight. If your block is still with you, by all means, use your block if you want to. And once again, there's another option for this pose in the workshop room. So be sure to hop onto the workshop room and look for th a three limbed seated pose. Three limbed seated pose or Tirianga Ekapada Pashimottanasana. But who can remember the Sanskrit, right? We'll look for the workshop for this, and I will give you another option. Lengthen up and exhale. As I promised, just melt forward and down. Allow your back to round this time. Allow your leg to relax, but don't let it flop out to the side. The leg here is still active. Without the block, you're just doing much the same. Deep, full breath. Wave yourself up. Good. From here, swing your left leg forward, but bring it under your right leg. Right leg still on top and bring your knees almost on top of each other. And I'll turn to you for this pose, almost on top of each other in our cow face pose. Hands on your feet, wave the spine nice and long and exhale forward and down. So this is the lower half of the cow face arms that we did. but I like separating the arms and the legs for this pose. Not all the time, just for this flow. Because we're trying to relax the upper body muscles now. Waving the spine back up. Now for this next pose, bring your lower shin, your left shin, in line with the top horizon of your mat if you're still looking forward. And I do suggest just let me twist and, and turn to face the camera just so you know what's happening. But you keep looking towards the top horizon of the mat. Anyway, shin in line-ish with that, with that straight edge of the mat and bring your other leg right on top of it. So I hope you can see that. It's not a cross-legged position as in a half lotus. It's wider. So if you can see, there's a triangle right here inside of your legs. Hands in front of you, so body weight forward, high on your fingertips. Wave the spine and exhale. Walk your hands forward incrementally in a forward fold. And I'll just orient myself properly back to encourage you to keep looking towards the top horizon of your mat. Deep, full breath. With 
with every exhalation, if you can, walking your hands a little bit farther, bringing yourself a little bit deeper, but pay attention to the hip of the top leg. In this case, the right hip. And walk yourself back up into an upright position. Relax your legs. Release the, the log position of the legs. Crawl forward and come back into downward facing dog. Through plank, just to gain your length, gain your alignment. Bend the knees, puppy pose, and downward facing dog. Last spinal waves of the flow. So just enjoy the up and down movement of the spine. Do it in your own time, your own pace. Don't rush. Strong, but slow flow. Last one. Left leg curls up. Three-legged dog. Three-legged plank. Draw that knee forward. Angle your shin and come down. Land your pigeon. Adjust yourself on the mat. Wave your spine nice and long and high. Walk your hands in your claw shape. And just a moment here in your proud pigeon first. Trying to quiet the mind. We're almost there. And exhale, melt down into your resting pigeon. Stack your hands on top of each other and rest your head. And once again, while you're here, if, if you want to walk your shin to a more parallel position, I hope you can see that parallel position to the top horizon of your mat, you're welcome to do that and rest here. But it's not an absolute. If your left hip will not take this angle of the leg, keep it close to the body. Stick to your long, smooth breath. If you can remember the counts of three for your breath, Brief pause in between. Wave yourself up. Hands down on the mat, a la plank, always when they're down on the mat. Back toes tuck under, lift yourself up, elbows close to the body, step your left foot down. Back knee down, untuck the toes and push yourself back. With your block or without your block. And once again, another option for this in the workshop room. Wave yourself nice and long. And exhale, melt forward and down, walking your hands. You don't have to come absolutely flat on your leg. Wherever your body will allow that deep curve. And yes, we're curving the back this time. Just a nice passive opening and lengthening of the back muscles. We don't always just contract, contract, contract. We allow them to relax and lengthen. Don't rush. Long holds also have the tendency to get the mind going, get that chatter in the head going. Quiet it down. This is your time to just feel that quiet and that peace inside your head. Wave yourself back up. Good. Don't rush that. You might get dizzy. I don't want you to get dizzy. Right leg. Release it. Thread it under the arch of your left leg. Cow face legs, left leg on top, knees. So your, your toes are pointing towards the back. And once again, just for a moment here. 
knees almost in line with each other. Again, it's not absolute. You can help your knees there into that alignment, but it will depend on the articulation of your hips. Waving up and exhale, relaxing forward and down. There are no absolutes to the poses. The only one being is the issue of safety. But you can always adjust your poses according to what you need. And resting here. You can even close your eyes if you want to. Just letting all of that effort go. Waving up. Bringing your bottom shin out a little bit. Top shin on top. They're like fire logs. That's actually the name of this pose. It's a fire log pose. Lengthening up, hands in front. And walk your hands forward with every exhalation. You can do your three count breath here. We've been doing a more rectangular breathing. So inhaling for three, two, one. Brief pause for one or maybe two. And exhale for three, two, one. Pausing for one, inhaling. Pause, exhale. Lengthening out if you want more. Breathing. With the next inhalation, wave yourself up. Release the crossing of your legs. Bringing one a little bit closer in, the top one further out, coming into your Siddhasana pose just for one more crawl forward. So the Siddhasana, if you can remember, heel, heel, midline of the body. But again, that's not absolute. You can adjust the distance of your knees and just crawl yourself forward. Waving up, opening your legs, but bringing the blades of the feet together, adjust yourself on the mat, making sure that you have space behind you Blades of the feet together, bringing your, knee, your heels close to you, interlacing your fingers and cupping your toes, and then nice and straight with the back in our proper Baddha Konasana, or cobbler's pose. And front facing, it's this way. Nice and long and strong with the body. From here, relax down. Relax. And then, if you can, keep your feet together. Just roll on one side and lie down. And start your relaxation here. And I just want to give you one more. Bring your knees together, feet apart. Heels close to the sit bones and wave your spine up into a low bridge. And if bridge is enough for you, stay. Exhale, releasing. You can come back up into that bridge pose or a full wheel. Arms up, hands in, thumb on the bridge of your nose and bring your hands beside the head. Tilt the hips and push yourself up still with that bridge pose action, strong arms and lift up into your full wheel. But only if you're confident in the pose and only if you want to do this. To come out, tuck your chin in, land on the back of your head 
and roll yourself down on the mat. By the way, if you have a ponytail, make sure that you're not lying down on it. Once your spine is down on the mat, one at a time or together if you want to, hands on your shins and draw your knees close to the chest. Sacroiliac joint massage. A few more. If you're feeling like it, one more round of bridge or full wheel. Around three to five breaths. But if you want to skip that, after your sacroiliac joint massage, draw your knees in. Blades of the feet together, knees nice and wide once again, and bring your feet down on the mat. So your legs are back into that Badakonasana or cobbler's pose position. Arms resting down on the mat a little farther from the body to encourage that external rotation in your shoulder joints and rest here. Start your Shavasana here. And I'll just give you the instructions, but you can stay here for as long or, or as short as you want. After this, bring your knees together and slide your legs out for your full Shavasana. If your lower back still needs some support though, after your Badakonasana, Supta Badakonasana, or more relaxed supported cobbler's pose, Bring your knees together and walk your feet out to the edges of the mat. This is more supportive for the lower back. If your lower back isn't happy with your legs extended down on the mat. And you can rest here and finish your Shavasana in this lumbar spine supported pose. <laughs> 